Hi everyone, I'm Taya from Chitra Dance Company and this is my hair and makeup video tutorial for ODC dancers. Now this is the way I do my hair and makeup. There's not one correct way of doing it, so you don't have to do it this exact way, but uh, hopefully you'll find some helpful tips here. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, so we're gonna start with a little checklist of things and products you're gonna need. Um, a hairbrush, a hair donut, um, rubber bands, um, smaller ones and a big thick one, hairspray obviously, hairpins, the more the better, some U-pins, a thread or, or a shoelace, and my little secret, a volumizing powder or I think it's dry shampoo, like dry shampoo will do. Okay, step one, brush your hair. Step two, apply the dry shampoo. Like this, you put it on, on the roots of your hair. Okay, why do this? Um, if your hair is very silky and smooth and straight, um, first of all, it makes it less silky, so it's much easier to manipulate and it holds much better in, in a bun. Second of all, it, it helps create some texture and volume that you still want, even though you put your hair up. You'll see. Step three, take the front half of your hair, center part it, and just separate the back half of your hair, and make sure the parting line starts on top of your head, not here. You want more hair here. Step four, take all the hair at the back of your head and put it into a ponytail. Make sure that the ponytail is not too high. Uh, it should be exactly at the back of your head. Um, a little lower is okay. Step five, make the bun. Now, if you have shorter hair like I do, just use a smaller donut. Um, I made this one myself. You can make even uh, an even smaller one if you need. Step six. The front. Now you might want to apply more of this. So this is where the texture and volume comes because this is the part that shouldn't really look very flat. If you have naturally curly and or big voluminous hair, you don't need that. You can skip this step. Now we're going to uh, twist the hair away from the face and then pin it. Uh, now you don't want to twist all this hair at once because this parting line might be visible. It doesn't look very nice. So what you want to do is you want to spread the hair a little bit. You want to try and cover as much as you can with it. And you start twisting here and then as you go towards the back of your head, you just take a little bit more hair and then you pin it all there at the back of your head. And then hairspray the living daylights out of it. And voila, we're done. Um, what in doubt, use more hairspray. Now, if there is some hair sticking out um, of the bun, like it is now, uh, just take a hairpin and yeah, just attach it here and then just pull it down under the bun and you're done. Or just use a hairnet. 
yeah so what helped me with my shorter hair uh, was using that uh, dry shampoo or texture or like volumizing powder texturizing powder you know whatever uh, makes your hair less silky and easier to work with um, second was using a smaller donut um, and you don't really need and you don't really need all the hair in your ponytail to be like long enough to go outside the donut so you can tie it under it you just need enough hair so if, if it holds you'll be fine like if something sticks out just put a hair net on it and hairspray it and hairpin it basically the secret is hairspray and hairpins okay one last thing uh, if you're using a really small a donut if your bun is really small here's how you can make it bigger so the crown the tahia doesn't fall off um, I'm sure most of you have these the gar like the garlands that we put under the tahia once it's on um, if you don't I can show you how to make them I make them myself it's really easy just take a regular size garland and just tie it around the bun like this. If you need more, use another one. Just keep tying the, these garlands around your bun till you're satisfied, till it's big enough to hold the tie. Like, um, then when you put it on, it looks nicer. It looks like it's supposed to be there. If it's still not feeling safe, if it still feels like it's gonna fall off, um, U pins to the rescue. Uh, just take a couple of really long U pins, like the longer the better, and stick them into or under the bun, like whatever works. I'll just show you one. Just stick it like this. Um, and maybe one more here. Um, so it's not ideal for, say, a, a close-up photo shoot, but if you move a lot and you really need it to stay in place, yeah, you can use a couple of U-pins. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, thanks very much for watching. Um, I hope this was helpful. My makeup tutorial is coming soon, I promise, and if you have any questions or requests, um, comment here or on Instagram. And uh, yeah, just keep trying and you'll be much better at this than I am. Okay, good luck! Bye-bye!